coverage continues now with Terrell Fournay, who's live with what we're learning about the victim and the suspected shooter. Terrell. Yeah, that suspected gunman we're learning tonight is a 73 year old man who lives on the very same floor where this fire actually started and where the shooting happened. More on him in a moment, but the most seriously injured person is a worker from that apartment complex who is fighting for his life here tonight at the hospital. Just as firefighters began to tackle this stubborn apartment fire, they found a critically injured man right on the property suffering from a bullet through the torso. I said, my son got shot. How that happened? Reynold Romius is the victim's cousin and godfather who says 30 year old Fader Biot was simply at work doing his job as a maintenance man at the Temple Court Apartments in Miami when a gunman opened fire over reasons that are still unclear. I never heard him has problem with nobody. He's a very nice man. I love his family. That's hurt me really, really bad. We've learned police have launched a criminal investigation and they've since arrested the gunman who was not just accused of attempted murder, but arson. All units inside, back out, now. The danger meant fire crews had to retreat at one point as dozens of units burned. The scene of thick flames and smoke sent three firefighters to the hospital and one resident, along with Fader, the maintenance man. They've done the surgery. They removed the bullet on his belly, but it's going to be okay. His family is now clinging on to hope. I love God and I believe in God. I said, let's pray God to make everything go smoothly. And I hope he's going to recover soon. And so that shooting victim, who is also a father to a nine-year-old boy, again is listed in critical condition. All of the firefighters who were rushed here have also been released from the hospital. As for that suspect, he has been identified as Juan Francisco Figueroa. Again, 73 years old. A motive has still yet to be made public. That information will come out in the days and hours ahead. We are live in Miami tonight. I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. Okay, Terrell, thanks a lot.